Good morning and welcome back to Power Tech TV. Today's tech study is an interesting one. FG XR6 Turbo, common performance vehicle and commonly mistuned as was the case with this vehicle. The original tuner of this uh, XR6 had set it up with a manual factory bleed T rather than the rather complex but highly effective factory electronic boost control system. Nothing wrong with bleed tees in application. However, on a Falcon Turbo, there is no application for this kind of hardware. So what's happened then is that although the fueling of the vehicle was quite nice and the timing seemed under control, this standard engine was spiking to 21, 22 PSI boost in the mid-range. Now, everyone that knows anything about these cars knows that on a factory setup, you're gambling. In fact, if I get my deck of cards out and choose one, running that much boost, you're more than likely gonna end up the joker. What's gonna happen? It's gonna bend the rods. What's gonna happen after the rods bend? They're gonna make their way out of the engine. Not a good thing. So what we decided to do was put the factory boost controller back into play in this engine, tune it up properly, and control the output of the engine. So let's see how we went. Now this is one instance that we're quite happy to give away some power and torque in the middling RPM of this engine. What happened standard is the car came up to 21, 22 PSI, boost curve dropped off, heat loaded the engine, made the engine detonate, and we ended up with a maximum of 298 kilowatts at the rear wheels. Now we've retuned the engine with a proper flat boost curve, not getting it over a bar or just over a bar of boost and tuning some top end into the motor. Now standard, or as it came in, power peaked at 4,400 RPM. I want more. Now this is not a diesel. These engines, the XR6 turbo barrel, will rev higher than that and, in, and make more power up there. And indeed, we've made it do exactly this. So if you look at the curves, we gave away 15 kilowatts or so at 4,000 RPM, but gained 15 to 20 at 4,700 RPM onwards. Now this guy wants to use his setup or roll racing again, and he's not gonna spend a lot of time at four. He's gonna spend his time between four and six. That is where we've optimized the tuning, and we've also made it so that it's less stressful on the rods at the same time. You can see here, as it came in, 20 PSI at 3,800. It's not good for anything. It's not good for the transmission. It's not good for the engine, unless they're built for it. Also, all the torque controls in this ECU were turned off, which means that in the instance of something going wrong, the ECU had no chance of saving the engine. We just don't like doing things this way, and we've been tuning these XR6 turbo engines since 2002, when I had the first ute in South Australia, uh, courtesy of Ford Motor Company and the late Jeff Politis. So I think what we've come up with here, with here is a great result. And if you go back to the deck of cards and you have a look, this guy and his Falcon have gone from Joker straight to Ace. More soon. 